Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 24 april 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. Today's bulletin once again will be in English. We will have Morse code in today's show and after that another antenna picture in SSTV PD50. In a moment we will start with the DX News and after that we have a popular scientific item on the Ferris wheel. Foxtrot 2, Juliet Delta will be active again from Honduras until July 13 as Hotel Romeo 5 stroke Foxtrot 2, uh, Juliet Delta. He will be operating HF bands, CW, SSB and Ritty. And Whiskey 6, November, November and Rich, Kilo Echo 1 Bravo will be active from Bequia Island. IOTA November Alpha 025, July 4 to 10, and uh, using the call sign Juliet 8 stroke Whiskey 6 November November and Juliet 8 stroke Kilo Echo 1 Bravo. During IARU contest, they will be operating in Mike Oscar category as Juliet 87 Hotel Quebec, as the IARU Hotel Quebec station giving SVGIARC multiplier. The week after, Anne and Rich will be active from Barbados. This is 11 to 16 July. And they will be using 8 Papa 6 November November and 8 Papa 6 Mike Mike. They will be operating on 40 to 10 meters there. Romeo India Zero Fox Tachera, radio amateurs, members of Russian Robinson Club, will be active from Shikotan Island, Iota Alpha Sierra 062, Kuril Islands, August 4th until 16, as Romeo India Zero Fox Tachera. They will be operating on HF bands. Victor Kilo 2 in the Romeo will be active as Sheriff Victor 0 X-Ray Bravo Foxtrot stroke Sheriff Victor 8. He will be island hopping the Greek islands August 2nd until September 7th. All modes CW, SSB and Digi. Juliet Alpha 1 November Lima X-Ray and Juliet India 1 November Lima X-Ray will be active again from Mana Island, uh, Mama Nuka Islands, Iota Oscar Charlie 1 to 1, October 21st at, until 25 S3 Delta 2 Yankee Alpha. Kilowatt 0 Charlie Delta will be active from St. Martin, Iota November Alpha 105 in CQWWDX CW contest November 26th until 27th as Papa Juliet 7 stroke Kilo 0 Charlie Delta. He will be operating 40 to 10 meters in SOAB QRP category. Golf 0 Charlie Kilo Victor will be active again from Rodriguez Island, Iota Alpha Foxtrot 017 in CQ WWDX CW contest. November 26th and 27th as 3 Bravo 9 Hotel Alpha. He will be operating also before and after the contest. I celebrate today the greatest engineer born on Valentine's Day. He made his mark in 1893 at the World's Fair in Chicago. As the fair prepared to open, its organizers searched for an engineering achievement to surpass the Eiffel Tower. Today we think of it as a slice of turn-of-the-century Paris, but at the time the tower was the latest in modern engineering. It stated boldly that the French were prepared to construct the bridges and buildings of the 20th century. So the Chicago Fair's organizing committee wanted something distinctive. Mere bigness, they said, would not be enough. Instead, they searched for, in their words, something novel, original, daring, and unique to show the prestige and standing of American engineers. They already had a chocolate Venus de Milo and a 22,000-pound cheese in the Wisconsin Pavilion, but they wanted more. A 31-year-old engineer approached them with an idea. He'd been hired to inspect the steel in all of the fair's buildings, and he wanted to build on that expertise to create a monument in steel. At first, the committee turned down his idea as outlandish and too fragile. Undeterred, he wrote them a letter spelling out his plan. I have on hand, he said, a great project for the World's Fair in Chicago. I'm going to build a vertically revolving wheel 250 feet in diameter. His name, of course, was George Washington Gale Ferris. His proposal became what we now call a Ferris wheel. What a spectacular monument he built. Using 100,000 separate parts, he created a wheel as high as the tallest skyscraper in Chicago, even higher than the crown of the Statue of Liberty. The wheel's axle alone weighed 140,000 pounds, and its 36 cars, each the size of a railway car, carried 60 people. Yet it was the wheel's lightness that startled people. Its rims seemed to float in the air, held up only by gossamer steel spokes, much like a bicycle wheel. 
Ferris created not only a monument to America's engineering prowess, but also a new aesthetic experience. As the wheel descended, it took about 20 minutes for a complete revolution, the whole fairground near Lake Michigan slowly opened into view. This ride succeeded in bringing notice and, more importantly, paying patrons to the World's Fair. Even today, Ferris wheels are used to celebrate big events. For example, when the British needed to welcome the new century, they created a 450-foot-tall Ferris wheel, renamed, though, the Millennium Wheel. And engineers in Singapore are creating a $100 million wheel that will take passengers 560 feet off the ground and give them a spectacular view of neighboring Malaysia and Indonesia, thus meeting the standard for spectacle set by George Ferris with his Ferris wheel in the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. In the beginning, there was silence. Then came ham radio. And there came the great exchange of ideas that led to many new inventions like the cell phone and communications that leads to lifelong friendships from down the street to around the world with millions of other amateur radio operators. And today's ham radio is the best source of backup communications during disasters or emergencies. Ham radio is alive and well. Find out more and get in on all the action. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzending is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar x-xdv.me. Laat jij wel eens een lange break? Jazeker, ik laat geregeld een lange break. En waarom doe je dat dan? Nou, dat de Echolink gebruikers ook een beetje lucht hebben. Ja, geef de Echolink gebruikers lucht.